Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Brother Meat here. Today we're going to continue on our journey on Path of Evil. Now, if you go from our last episode, this little D bag over here led us to his master's lair. Dumbass. And we are going to go smack down on them. But first, let's scope out here. We've got Magician's Work. That's, well, we've already buffed up off camera. I did that before the save. The Vandara over here was the little Mr. Twig Skinny, thin bastard that we saved last time. And then decided to use that for our own personal gain. Ooh, a robe of light. What does that do? Let's find out, shall we? It is a robe that glows. It's like a Technicolor dream coat, buddy. Sweet. I always wanted that. Alright. Oh, kibosh, bro. Foot lock. I see a foot lock. And it's locked. You know what that means? XP! Yeah, here it is. Go. That's my so. shit. Two hundred fifty gold pieces. He was hoarding you, little bastard. And he did not pay me, by the way, for fucking saving his ass. That scroll cost money, so I'm totally justified in this whole stealing of his master's shit. Come on, you need to get in there. Get up here. Save the day. I like how that, despite the fact that you get these characters, you can actually dismiss some of them. What? Now I'm not saying that that's a good idea in every instance. Eek! Mariana has intruders. Come, sisters! This will attack. Oh, attack. Alright, bro. I'm gonna stay. Unload up! Here! Oh, I'm gonna get a little, uh. Eh. Yeah. Just gonna spend that quick. I ain't worried about it. There's another one here, What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop doing shit. Gold. She was like spamming stuff here, starting to get me worried. I'm afraid she was busting up my trigger. Uh, let's see. Ooh, stones. Like stones. Pretty jewels. Right, we got anything over here? Yeah, we're seeing the other door from the other area. They've encapsulated the entirety of this, so if you actually look. Uh, Let's pop up the map, you'll see what I mean. If you look at your map, you'll actually see that we have four areas. And that's because that way you don't have to load every time. So you'll notice that we zip on in and bam, we're there. And another one. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. Let me look back in. Okay. Oh, what the hell are you looking in here? Is there anything in here? Anything at all? Alright. Oh, she got a hit. Uh, uh, where's my, uh, oh, healer. There he is. Well, he got hurt. Jeebus, what the hell happened, girl? Alright, first things first. Uh, you're hurt more. Yeah. And then she's hurt. You're like, bro. And then since I'm in anticipating problems here. How long does that one last? Long enough that we can port. Oh, I'm gonna put it on him though. And then we're gonna slap him the bears and turns like always. Let's grab some of that mass A for everybody. And we have a magic vestment, but I don't have a shield. Uh, I should have a shield. So to activate this one like you should, guys, this is one, let's pause for a quick one, lose our buffs. This is one where you can use it on either an armor or a shield. If you click on the character, if I'm not mistaken, it defaults to armor. If you don't have armor, I believe it will then go to the shield. Uh, if you activate it in your inventory like this, you can click on whatever thing you want and therefore get it the right proper buff. So this is Chainmail Plus 1, so this is technically subpar, but he has mage armor on. So that's overriding the plus one, giving us a plus four. This is a plus two forecaster levels. I would need it to be a plus three to get me any benefit out of this one, and he, he doesn't have 12 levels on him. Uh, is Kavos wearing a shield? No. Yes. He's wearing a shield. And it's a shadow shield. It's a plus two. Okay, so we don't even need to use that. Right, just shadows. So. Uh, and you know, it's probably not a bad idea for us to start using some of them. Their potions. Uh, what was 
so get real quick. Oops, not a book. I don't want inventory. Let's see here. This could be a good chance for some bark skin. I like that idea. Yes. And I Fall know in. he has one. And I know... I shall lead us for now. Oh, did he use his? Or did I not give it to him? I could have sworn I did. Maybe it was Kavasa. Yeah, okay, it was Kavasa had it. All right. And I want you to see the upgrade for my armor here. There you go. I suppose so. Boss. What over here, bro? All buns. Yeah. I got a nice little team going on right now. I did not know Garius had taken more arcane apprentices. Since you are here, you must have defeated the Sylphs. I regret I couldn't get there in time to save them. But here you are, and here I am. Garius? You mean Black Garius? Do not pretend you do not know your master's name. Garius was killed on the night of Captain of Crossroads Keep several years ago. Oh, we're referring to the original game. Ha, I think not. Garius has been a threat to peace for many years. I have stopped him many times, but he has always been able to escape. I got some news for you. Whoever you brings you the news is an incompetent idiot. Enough of your lies. Prepare to run with your tail between your leg. The Vandar asked me, how do you have your tail between your leg? I think you mean legs. Just for that I'm attacking. Right, let's scatter, 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 scatter. Yeah, we saw that coming. There, hit her. Oh, she went down like a chump. Right. Well, I just killed her. All right, um... Okay, she's, uh... She's invisible, folks. Hmm. Backpedal here, I guess. Ooh, we tossed and hit her with some blindness and didn't work. Maybe it did. That's why she's not wailing on her now. Got some haste going. She freaking, like, lit us up immediately. Alright, anyway, let's focus on this. What do we got here? I have... Oh, first things first. Do I have anything that'll help me? Why don't I have a spell pick for you, dude? What actually is that about? A frog guy. And perception. Rival Hunter. Hmm. Towering Oak versus Ramps Mines. Basically, wild. Yeah, this one here would have been the one to have. Blind fighting could have come in handy here. Oh well. And he already has those. Uh, I do have spells though. Nothing that's going to help us with that. Oh, but I can help my team. Let's actually get my team. Oh, we got uh, the armor. Yeah. Get her. Alright, uh, first things first. Let's pop out, puppy. here. We need help badly. Alright, yes. who's got a spell that can help us out in this particular instance? In. Anybody? Somebody. Come on. Someone's got to have a... See, invisible? Bane might help us. Take time to call lightning. Oh, well, that's an AoE move that I can use at the very least. Let's pop that out. That'll give us some kind of help. Oh, from there, I'm going to summon that. I'm going to animate some dead while we're at it. That should give us some cover for that. One of these guys is going to hit something. Oh, come on, team. Come on, guys. You all got her. Yeah. Wow, that was rough. 
Man, I gotta start preparing for invisible, apparently. Let's actually do that now, shall we? Where was our guy who didn't have his blind fight on? That would have helped at least a I little. Shall lead us for now. Key. Cleric boy, where's your purge invisibility? Invisibility purge. So that's gotta be higher level, right? Yeah. There it is. Okay, yeah, that that would have been the one. Alright, magic vestment's not doing me any good. We're gonna keep that in our back pocket. What? Alright, anyway. Ooh, look at the loot of lootness. Five thousand gold pieces. Means of a uh, whatever, fifty-four gold pieces, I'll take it. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, there's Kavasa's work yes. waiting for him. Swanky bed. Dig it. Gossamer, what you jiggies in the whole nine yards? I suppose so. Uh, a locked thing with nothing in it, really? That's just not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Alright, before we get out of here. Ooh, yeah, see, I'm missing treasure right there. Boom. Copper and some gold. And yeah, she had a couple buddies in here helping her out. And we have a magician's workbench, but we don't need it for that. That's just nice to know, though, that they put that in there. And while that sounds silly, A, we would obviously go in the crafting area to do that. But if you think about it, ooh, we'll get to that here in a second. If you think about it, if you didn't pay the money or didn't want to become a member of the Guild of Magical Calamity or whatever the hell they call that shit, then this would give you access to it short term. So if you wanted to craft, you could do it here and it wouldn't cost you anything. I mean, besides your obvious. Manifestments of Faith. Only used by good. Plus three deflection. Let's pass that off to him. Yes. See if he can freaking wear that stuff. Did it pass it off? Yeah, there it is. Let's go to the boss, right? Boom. Yeah, Kavas. Ring of Fortitude. Ring of Protection so we can get rid of that. Pass that over to someone who can use it. Uh, yeah, just do it by me. Yes. Do you have any bunch? Multiple items with a plus one deflection. Oh, is that his thing? Yeah, there we go. So she don't need that ring neither, and I want my gem back. Uh, how about All you? In. Just about everybody's probably got some of this stuff. Multiple. Book of protection, right? Yeah, yeah. This just means we get more stuff to sell. So I'm not, you know, unhappy with that. Man, everybody's got deflection. Where is his coming from? It's gotta be a spell, right? I just cast a spell on him, maybe that's what it is. Here, let's take a knee. Get rid of all this stuff, get her healing up. Okay, that's clearly glitched. Okay, so he can use the ring. Why the heck no one else took the... I don't know. Well, that was just weird. Alright, anyway. Robe of light will pass off to put in the sack. Robe of fire resistance in the sack. Gold ring in the sack. We'll sell off our stuff here later. Copper necklace. Ring of resistance. Yeah, we need to pass that off to him too. Why not? Disease immunity. Insight. We gotta keep that one on. Armor plus you see now that's what I'm talking about, right? The armor plus three. You know, I don't use a spell. If the spell gets stripped off me, you know, then I still got the plus three on me, so that's not bad. Copper ring silver ring for passing that off. We're keeping the ring of insight on just in case. Uh disease immunity we already got here. Gazi's ring gives us freedom of movement. That's extremely useful too. Uh, we got another staff of defense, so you know where that's going. Yes. She could totally benefit from that. Let's hotkey it. Order staff plus two. Whereas this one is an armor class bonus, so you won't get the extra hit. But if you swap it out, you'll see your armor class goes up a little bit. She's obviously overridden something because it doesn't stack. But then after hotkey in it, you got ghostly visage, mage armor, uh, protection from alignment, all kinds of good stuff. 
Uh, but this one obviously is enchanted. I suppose so. What else we got here? Constitution oh, decrease. He got hit with something. Or was his uh, familiar probably got killed? On the Ring of Insight, it's just a little lore bump. We're going to keep that. You know what? No, we're going to get rid of this. some of the stuff. We need to start consolidating. We never did use that Hellcat blood for anything. I wonder what the hell that was actually for. Dark Steel being good. Fair enough. We'll keep all this for now. Alrighty. Plus a rest home. We can pass that off to him. From there. Yeah, we got lots and lots of potions. But I'm going to pass off the uh, Cure Critical to him. And I'm actually going to split the serious ones. And give him one. I shall lead us for now. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I want you to pass this back to me, though. There we go. Disease immunity. The disease immunity. A lot of people like overlook. Uh, was another fine example was the purple dragon ring. It like, I don't know, it gives you something stupid like light spell or something free. Like unlimited uses, but also gives you like poison immunity, poison and disease. Or, you know, there's a lot of All spells in. out there that you wouldn't think are poison and disease spells, and they are. And you can really whoop up on some bad guys by just having everybody wearing a specific ring to protect them from the damage that the uh, that the spell would normally do. But. Uh, not bad, folks. Not bad. All right. With that, let's get the heck out of here. We've already got everything here. Now the question is: Is on our way down? Are we going to kill his minion or her minion, her little buddy? You know, he did get us here. He did it because we threatened his life, but he did get us here. I guess maybe we'll let him decide: Is he going to attack us when we try to leave? Or is he gone? Oh, there you go. He ran away. Hey, as stupid as we thought. Guess he realized. Or was that the person that we attacked at the very beginning? Oh, maybe she uh, teleported him upstairs. And we killed him first, because I thought we killed her. We saw a body go down, and then there was like a pet or something in the room that we were fighting for a while there. And then her. I wonder if that was it. Oh. So he did come to her aid. Oh, that was heartfelt and stupid because now you're dead. Anyway, let's get out of here. That was kind of cool. We got some decent loot for that. I mean, that was pretty sweet. Uh, we're back here in town. And I think we've done everything we wanted to here. Well, first of all, we did want to go uh, check out the skiff. See, uh, Kavas made, and I noticed in the last uh, video while I was buffing up, I saw Kavas say something about how cool it would be if we actually stole the thing. Well, let's go see if we can actually do that. We're going this way. Up there on here. Oh, and there was a, a building back there we were supposed to go into, right? Like, I missed a door or something. We didn't catch it on the last video. Because we were busy with the guy that was all two dimensional. Here we go. That's pretty. Hmm. Can we get it? Oh, nope. I didn't know it. Okay, doesn't look like they're going to let us inside. Boo. That was cool, cool though. Very neat. I wish we could get some more of these buildings. It looks like they were ported up a little bit. But still no understanding as to why there's a door here that you can't get to. Uh, I'm just going to assume that that's just the modder stealing this building from someone else or themselves. And they had a back door that just lumped the other building up into it so you wouldn't have to worry about going into it. Because I don't remember. Let's actually go inside and prove to ourselves there wasn't like a back door that we could like get out. I don't think there was. Fairly certain that there was, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't anything there. There's an upstairs. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Alright, let's go check out that other door. Um, from there, I think we have the monastery to go to, right? The whole purpose of us being here in the first place was to look up your info man. on the crown. So... Oh, it's this one right here. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. Uh, yeah, the one that looked like it was. Uh, uh, what? What do you call it? Can't use words today. Uh, courthouse or something, right? Because of the scales. That is creepy. Is that a hand? That's a clawed hand or something holding that thing. What the hell is that supposed to be? Hey, whatever. Hey, go inside. I don't anticipate trouble. What the hell is this? I didn't anticipate trouble. Let's, let's pause that for a second. Oh, what did we just do? Did we go to another area? River Bridge. Is that a glitch? Let's look at the map, shall we? Hawthorne Graveyard. Oh, it teleported us to the graveyard. Oh, well, we're going to find some uses of our cleric now, I think, folks. All right, uh, let's buff that up there. Uh, clap it up, everybody. From there. I'm ready if you need me. You know what you're doing. And when you're gonna do it. And be strong and heroic and stone skinned and armored up. From there. She wants to make sure to get Let's see, get at least ghostly visage on her. We'll save uh, mirror image and uh, reserve. She'll cast it on herself. I'm not worried about that so much. Uh, and if you recall my last video, we realized that we were trying to buff this guy's mace up with this, and this obviously not going to work. Um, I maybe do want to go tracking after the fashion. Let's see if anything jumps us while we're buffing up. I'm not particularly worried about his constitution being dipped. Um, Kavas will behave himself, and his pet won't come out and get killed anytime soon. We're, we're careful. It was just uh, uh, AoE's attacks, I think, that, that took out the critter. That damn shame. I'm going to make sure to activate that tracking. Hmm. Interesting area. It's like a worn down area, bridge, the crypts proper. Right on, right on. Let everyone get their buffs going here. I don't want anyone to be subpar. And he's still doing that thing where he's switching weapons, and that's really starting to irritate me. I shut that off. I swear I shut that off. Oop, here we go. Get the undead. Oh, yeah. oh, he got hit with something. Nice shot, sweet pea. There's a ghoul. Oh, nice hit. Yeah, that poison. Those are those diseases come in handy, right? Those immune yeah. diseases would have been extremely helpful here. We'll worry about his infliction here in a moment. we got plenty of healing kits and stuff. I don't want to get jumped. Gosh, you're doing great. Oh, he's already over the disease. Look at that. Like a boss. They just make a beeline right for my little guys, don't they? There's my little turn of dead, buddy. I saw something up on the grave. Yo, yo. How come some silver stuff? Think they're trying to tell me something? Is there anything back there? Just make sure I'm not losing something. Looking that way. Yeah, Mass Aid, for those of you that don't know, is an amazing spell. Doesn't last very long. I want to say it's minute per caster level, but the buff it gives you, totally worth it. And if it's done right, and that's the question here because I haven't checked it, well, there used to be a glitch with it. Let me pause the game here see if I can pop up the spell book and show it to you. Uh, mass Aid 
has the uh, a bonus to your attack, but it saves against fear. And then, of course, these temporary hit points, which is amazing, right? That's the whole reason you want this. Yeah, the attack roll bump is always nice, sure. It doesn't last very long, but by the time you get it, so you're level 5 cleric before you get it, because that's a level 3 spell. Uh, so it's 5 minutes, at least, that it's on. AoE effect, centered on wherever you click it, and everybody gets it. Hell, you see even our, our pets here get it, because they're in the AoE effect. Well, that's extra hit points for those little goobers. You know, because it's one of those things where, oh, so that's got to be Kavasas, right? So to look at him, you have to actually be the guy. So you see, he gets extra hit points, and it's because of that little spell. So, so it's great. The glitch was, or could still be, that if you lost your hit points, you know, the extra hit points, then it gets rid of, it basically strips off the attack bonus and the saving throw against fear bonus. Uh, which kind of sucky. Uh, but someone else fixed it a while ago. Now, whether we're using that correct script, I can't tell you. Oop, sorry. Oh, no. Hey, that's a wraith. That is a wraith. That is a, definitely a wraith. Yep, in a shadow. Okay. Um, I am going to hit it with our Seeking Ray. Rainbow Beam, El Sassad Arrow, and Magic Missile, because I really want that thing dead. Those things are nasty. And she can help us out with some debuff no armor class. Take that cursed bastard. Oh yeah, we're mowing through. Team. I suppose so. They're getting better. They are definitely getting better. That's a nice little bit of FP. It's the concealed, and that was another. Let's pause it again real quick. It's another one that we're missing on this party composition. There is a spell that I don't think I've picked yet. I can't pick. Maybe it's not a wizard spell. I know it's a druid spell slash ranger spell. Um, it's possible. I shall lead us for now. I remember seeing it. Uh, there is several new additions to the game as far as spells, and one of those additions was a spell called Fairy Fire was one of them, and Glitter Dust I know was another, and those spells um, were added to strip away concealment nice bonuses, spells. and when I talk about helpful, slap that on a target, make that 50% chance of just generally missing, not even counting whether you hit or not, just 50-50 chance that you just won't even hit the guy. And then if you do, you still have to hit the armor class. So just amazing way of just screwing over somebody, having concealment. Well, you can strip that away with a variety of spells now, which is awesome sauce. Love them. Use them every chance you can. I'm really not seeing a whole lot here. They're not getting let in anywhere. I guess this was just to pick up the, the random couple, you know, undead fights. I'm hot cane. Oh, there we go. Grave. We'll take out that. Ooh, Kukri. Here we go. Magic. Ooh, plus two Kukri. See, this would be a nice cheap area to go. Uh, this would not be one for a low party. Like, without our cleric, I think we probably would have had problems. But, having said all that, we're still doing pretty darn good, I'd say. But let's pass off some of that stuff we just picked up there. We got a ring. And a Kukri. We'll pass that off to him because we know he loves him. Anything else? I don't think I saw anything else. So that that Kukri, if he's um, well, it's been a while since I remember his feast. Does he get two up? No. Could have sworn he had that. Huh? What am I thinking of? Oh, third command. This guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's a two-weapon fighter. Duh. We should have probably given those to him. Your Does command. he have things that he could do two weapon? We really like him though with the fireplace, because I don't think anyone else can really well I mean the cleric I suppose could rock those. Matter of fact, the cleric he's only got a morning star plus one. We could probably Your pass command. him off with that other blade that's the electrical damage. Yeah, let's do that. Hey buddy. 
That's our alchemical silver rapier. Start just putting some of this stuff away. We give Kavas the darts. Some just general treasure. Alright, you have that. And that. There we go, bro. Because he, uh, he could definitely use the pump. He must have a, a trait built in with his Morningstar that allows him to do better attack bonuses and all that stuff. But, uh, I shall lead us for now. Come on, team. Yeah, you lead us for now. You be the dumbass that go up front. I'm actually looking forward to this next weekend. Um, I am uploading my mod, by the way, tomorrow. I have to figure out how to do it. I think it's just all I really need to do at this point is figure out how to zip it or put it into the RAR format because uh, there's only so many types of files that you can upload but I'm doing that tomorrow but next weekend I'm extremely excited because a buddy of mine at work is putting together a pen and paper D&D team and we're starting it next weekend now I'm super stoked we're going old school just to re uh, familiarize everybody with the rules and get some newer players involved and interested we're doing the original like edition one advanced Dungeons and Dragons, so this is going to be, you know, like when you don't have wizards or sorcerers, you had magic users. It's going to be sweet. So I'm stoked. But, uh, I have yet to decide what I'm going to play. I, you know, magic user is the obvious choice, but we're going to roll character creation when we get there, so that everybody can make their own decisions, and if everyone wants to be a wizard or magic user, well, then we can't really do that. Oh, I could be, you know, just a sword and board fighter. I who, who the hell is that? What? I just love looking at the waterfall from here. Well, thank you. I mean, it's really worth it. What the hell? Oh, hello there. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't remember seeing her the last time I was here. It's kind of weird. Where did you come from, kid? Anyway. And, you know, like I said, I could be a straight-up fighter. I've never been much of a rogue fan, even in the newer editions. Not that rogues are bad in any way, shape, or form. I always hated the dice calculations for the percentiles of open lock and blah, blah, blah. It's just, I've never been a fan. Um, so, not something I'd probably be into. I am, however, always interested in caster classes, so a cleric or a druid would be fun. And if I remember right, in first edition, druids were like hella awesome as far as like getting spells and stuff. All right, we're just coming up on the Amy Guard Library Monk. Here we go. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you got to do with druids in the first edition. Welcome to Sawakin Monastery, Traveler. Come in peace and fill yourself with knowledge of the past. Okay, thank you. And she unlocked the door for us. What a sweet, sweet monk. Alright, we should probably take a look at our map. What do you think? Let's see, what we got here? Oh, looks like a building. Alright, to my left. Yep, yep. A little player on the mountain. One way the other way. That's gotta be where our goal is. We don't know where we to get there. Maybe it's one of these paths. Well, let's check out the buildings first. Yeah. Uh,. Path seems well lit. Gotta love it. Magic Monastery Path. Woot woot. Anything over here? Cool ass building. Yep, got a door. Just making sure there's not something else. Sun inside. What do you got? Okay. A monk. May I help you? Boss has stolen something while he's distracted the monks. Stealing from the monks, buddy. Yes. Places like these always have healing for sale. It's rather seems rather hip, hypocritical of priests to sell healing. But here we are, aren't we? Oh yeah, time for us to start selling some stuff and buying some things. What the hell is that? Quinn's Guide to Perception, Volume 1. It is easy to miss the work of Vern Quinn. But anyone that has read his guide to perception, which comes in three volumes, would tell you that the man himself was clearly prodigious in examining and interpreting conscious and unconscious behavior by individuals, and surely must have been a difficult man to fool. 
permanent plus one to wisdom. You activate the book then on yourself, and you basically get a plus one to your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't particularly care about wisdom. Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm never going to really invest in it enough to make me go up. But, Cleric, of course, could use that. Boy, he could really use that. That'd be a nice bump for him. Matter of fact, what level is he? Nine, ten, so he's, he's right there at being able to use the level that he has. Uh, level nine cleric can use fifth level spells if their wisdom is five above ten. So to advance further, he would need a wisdom of sixteen. That would be cool. All in. Same with Ranger Boy here. And he's stuck at level one castings right now. I don't even know he's at near level two casting yet, but let's buy it for him. And his eleven. Activate. He's at twelve. Let's take a look at his book, shall we? Yes, yeah, so he gets an extra slot for that too. Now the other guy probably went up as well, but not the point. Um, he this gives him an extra slot at level one and gives him the ability to eventually get to level two. It helps him out for favorite soul as well, but only in like the strength of the spell or something lame sauce like that, because uh, favorite souls benefit from charisma for how to advance their levels of spells. The strength of their spells is based on wisdom. So one of those mad caster classes that everyone loves to hate. Alright, but with that, I'm babbling. Blades of fire could come in handy, won't lie to you, but we already have fire damage. Mm, perception, that's one of those newer spells again. You have to really test it out. I don't really think it's something I care about. Magic Fang could be useful for his pet, his bug. Maybe that's the way to go here. That's a long... Oh, I thought that was an hour-long buff, not like, like Magic Armor. Or like um, Magic Weapon, but I guess it's not. Huh. What does it ring in? Ooh, that's nice. Strength bonus, dodge, armor class bonus, reflex save bonus, man. Hmm. Yeah, you almost need all those bonuses because of the penalty you get. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we want? What do we want? Blockade is another one of those that's utilitarian and, and kind, of, kind of interesting. This one I have yet to find a way to get rid of it. Like it, it wears off over time, and that's probably good but it doesn't wear off that fast and you're just like chomping at the bit to get back into it let's just grab that magic thing screw it oh and we're actually going to sell some things i'm trying to remember what gems are useless well, usually if they're expensive they're the ones you want to keep but like malachite which is cheap here i'm fairly certain it's useful same with fire agates Adventuring, I know you can use that one exactly right. Maybe vanilla fees and obsidians. I know you can use obsidians. I guess we won't sell any of that stuff just because I don't know what it'll do. Or, I mean, if I can use it and say it the right way. Um, come on, bro. You got all these traps that we never use, but man, I want to keep them. Strong electrical trap alone could be really, really nice. We'll keep those. We can't use them yet. I'm ready if you need me. She's good. 500 seems to be the limit on buying stuff price-wise for this guy. Command. Yeah, let's, uh, where's my gems and her, uh, cheapies? We'll see if we can unload a little loot for all our hard work. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of some of these lamer things. Keeping those safe flip promo. I gotta remember that we have those. We never got that to use. I didn't get rid of that long ago, I suppose, if they're willing to buy it. Alright. 70. Nice. Getting a little loot. Making daddy happy. Robo Light is freaking cheaper than a goddamn gold ring. Virus isn't robot, the other hand, apparently seems to be using And they get a long bow. Alright. With that, what else can I buy? Wand of Prayer. One charge per use, 50 charges. Only usable by a bard, sorcerer, or wizard. I could 
use that. Hello, my lead. 13968. Let's actually let's try something, folks. 13968. Remember that number. Make sure that I don't forget it. I'm ready if you need Because we have the ability to increase our appraise with a heroism spell. Okay. 968. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we at? Ooh, look at that. It went down 68. 70. 70 bucks. Ooh, yeah. Probably should have sold my stuff with the thing. Well, whatever that meant. Lesser amulet of balance. Accuracy. Or accuracy. I keep saying uh, armor class. Natural. And universal. But man, that's pricey. I mean, I have the money. So why am I hesitant? But. Man, I don't know. Lesser amulet of the order. Oh. These are basically the various versions. So balances. Are you neutral? Are you lawful? Are you probably good? Yeah, okay. Well, so there's always at least one that you can probably use. Period of flight protection. That's very specific. Huh. Potions. Ooh, look at all the adamant times. Comma, comma, comma. Comma, 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 comma. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Do they even use those? I am ready. He can't. Your command. He can't. I'm ready if you need. She definitely can. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. so this is for if you had like a monk. I'm guessing. Yeah, look at all the monk stuff. It makes sense. Hold the bravery on the other hand. It may be to fear. Ooh. Is it worth it though? Yeah, we got a cleric. It's not that he's immune to fear or anything like that, but he has spells that can get us out of that stuff in a pinch. Hmm. I had ghoul touch this entire time and I hadn't scribed it in my book. Boy, I'm stupid. Alright, well, anyway. Oh, uh, nothing that I really want to buy. This small monastery building is extremely old. Paths are worn in the stone floor. Mm -hmm. Alright, anything up beyond? Or maybe that's what uh, Kavas stole. Oh, I thought of that. Kavas, did you steal that? Yeah, I don't care enough to look it up. He stole something. I know he stole something. He's a thief after all. That's kind of a nice addition. I hope, I mean, I don't hope, but it would be nice if the modder had thought about it, because when you get that option to have Kavas steal stuff, you would think that that means that he's going to be automatically successful. It would be nice if there was a chance that he wasn't successful. I shall lead so that us if, for you, now. if you pick that option, that basically... He tries to steal, and if he is unsuccessful, you can get in trouble. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if I could actually implement that either, so I'm not going to be upset if it doesn't do that. But that would be kind of sweet. Every time I see someone yes. walking toward me, I want to unload with a bunch of bolts in their face. That probably proves that I'm an evil character. Get into this building. Hmm. Well, there's a reason for that. Okay, well, let's see. Where's our path? There's two of them, weren't there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of the ones on the mountain we can't get to, one down here that we can. Rune car boulder lights up like a Christmas tree. That's probably something we want to click on, right? And then there's an island. The monastery over there. Before we click on that, let's check the whole path because it looks like we have a place over here. We'll come back to that if we can. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? A little black patch here looks like there's a mistake. Unless that's a trap of some kind that I'm not seeing. If a wild ass fucking like octopus or something come out of the water to attack us, I'd be all kind of freaking out right now. Oop, yeah, see there it was and there it was gone. So it's probably shadow or something because of the mountain. Hello. Welcome to Sawagan Monastery. Would you like to hear some of our history? 
They sure went there. Sawagam is one of the largest. I don't know if I'm saying Sawagam, that's a critter. Saha. Saha gun. There you go. Saha gun. It's one of the largest ancient monasteries still extant in Halroa, or Faerun for that matter. Saha gun goes back to earliest days of humanity in Faerun. Some visitors say Saha gun is older than the mothers of the gods. Would be dumb. Because the gods were here first. Continue to listen. Because of this, Sahagun has become a place of study of history. Our library is very extensive, and for ancient history, some say unsurpassed. Well, all right, that's our clue that we're supposed to do something with that, right? We got 100 XP for that. How are we doing on our uh, XP? Oh, yeah, baby, come on, another fight. We are doing leaps and bounds of fun on this one. I must admit, this is a pretty extensive mod. I don't know how long it took them to put this together, but psh, buddy, they kicked ass. And I hear there's a remastered version. I don't know if that's what I'm playing or if this is the remastered uh, or the earlier version. What is this? Room carved boulder. Carved into the boulder are the words, would you like to move to the island? Apparently all you need to do is think. Well, okay, I think we found our transport to the island. Right, let's take a look at that, shall we? Yep, yep, we're on the island. Looks like there's multiple paths here as well. I wonder if there's another stone that takes us over to the mainland um, across the way where that big monastery was at. Hey, monks, buddy. What do you need? Yes. I need you to tell me how to get to the next spot. Okay, this is not open. That one was not open. Ooh, we're running around the long way. Okay, sure, yeah, why not? Alright, she got anything to say? Yes. He, excuse me. Sorry, sir. That was not judgment on your character. I just assumed it, since it said library and monk, that the last one I talked to was a woman, that was probably also a woman. Don't hate on me. Right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Another room carved stone. I bet you that takes us to the other side, right? Would you like to move to the cliff top? Yes, I would. Woot. All right. So basically, we teleport around with the stones. I don't know why that's cool or not, but hey, whatever. Take a quick gander outside. Anything out here? Nope, just some pretty views. A little puddle. I said looks pretty damn cool. Something over there. But it's a light source, I guess. Uh, yeah. Alright, we'll head back to the front. Uh, this video's probably gone on long enough, though, so let's actually cut it when we get to the front here. My name, but we, we don't anticipate any issues inside, so I'm not going to buff up or anything silly like that. I may take a knee, though, just to get our heroism back since it will wear off soon. But my name's Brother Mute. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys soon. Bye now.